I myself am a cancer survivor, and I have to say that in caring for others, I always had empathy, but it's different when you put on the shoes and wear them. So I've emerged from my own cancer experience in a different way. And I had my care at Legacy Cancer Institute, so I had the opportunity to take advantage of some of the things that we've built for others, the integrative therapies. I got the hugs and the love, as well as the top-notch care, all of which made my journey just so much better. And it's also helped me to grow as a provider and as the medical director of our program to understand in a different way what needs are and how important all of the different pieces of the Cancer Institute are to patient care. I have a passion for oncology and specifically breast cancer. When I was 12, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, so I remember that time very clearly. I remember family and friends coming over and crying um, because at the time people really felt like cancer was a death sentence. But I also remember the beauty of my mother's spirit and how she told us that we are going to walk through it and that God is in control and he knows what is needed and we are not going to walk in fear but we're just gonna do what we need to do. So I love singing to my patients as part of the care that I give them, especially as they're going off to sleep because that seems like a scary time. And I feel like if you drift off to sleep in a pleasant place, you wake up in a pleasant place. And I usually take my, uh, I get the song based on what I feel in my spirit at the moment I'm with that person. So I sing various things, but right now I feel like Amazing grace. In my mind and in my family's mind, Nathalie Johnson is the Beyonce of Portland. Um, she seemed to make magic happen for us and also had gone through so much of her own journey with cancer. I mean, she and I had the exact same diagnosis. There is a confidence level there with Nathalie Johnson that um, because she and I had the exact same diagnosis that um, it made everyone in my family more confident that if she survived it and she's talking about her cancer in this way, that I can do this too.